Also new this morning, we are hearing from university leaders at the University of Denver. Students at DU, they remain at that pro-Palestine encampment. And Fox 31's Courtney Fromm is on it this morning with more on kind of what's planned for this week there. Courtney. Yep, good morning to you both. There's not a lot of details yet on how long this encampment plans to be here, but we can see it right here behind us, several tents, and we've been seeing some students getting up and walking around this morning on top of campus security as well. Now, we understand we heard from university leaders and that they met with leaders of the encampment, but they say over the weekend, the university there has been a series of non-compliance with encampment participants. Now, one of the big issues the DU sent out in a statement to us here at Fox 31 is some of the encampment has refused to show their school ideas to prove that they're actually students here. Now, university leaders also say there's an increase in reports of anti-Semitism and disruption, but protesters say they have no plans on leaving this encampment and say they are disappointed and don't believe they'll make any progress with the university anytime soon until their demands are met. We went into that meeting uh, really wanting to talk about disclosure. That's really the first step to all of our demands. Our demands were not met. The biggest thing that we were hearing is that it's complicated. It's complex. It's actually quite simple. This is a genocide. We are showing up for oppressed people, for justice. Now, obviously, the semester here at DU has wrapped up and no, uh, no students are on campus as of right now, unless they're taking summer classes, of course. But protesters say that Saturday night they were threatened by administration and campus police with sweeps and arrests. But DU says they did not do that. They did not threaten sweeps. They just asked for IDs of those students to verify they actually go to school here. So it's only current DU students, faculty and staff are permitted for overnight protests. Again, though, security with the campus uh, police department, I'm assuming they've been out here all morning. They just left a few moments ago, but there is expected to be another meeting between university leaders and those encampment leaders, but a date has not been set yet. For now, live in Denver, Courtney from Fox 31. All right, a lot to follow. Thank you, Courtney.